This drought is going into the history books. The farm and ranch industries lost more than $7 billion last year. But as our David Scott found out, the agriculture industry is not just blaming the weather. The EPA has Texas in its crosshairs. They literally have their boot on the neck of the Texas economy. A packed house Friday heard Ag Commissioner Staples and other top officials proclaim that hundreds of new EPA rules are squeezing farmers and ranchers at the worst time. And they say their appeals to Washington for relief fall on deaf ears. It is a constant struggle. We need good regulatory policies that are based on sound science, not political science. In dispute, new EPA rules for air. Water, the earth, work conditions, emission standards, inspections on grain and livestock. Critics say the regulations are costly, overreaching, and unreasonable. Water, an especially sore subject. But the recently, EPA has issued some guidance which would declare all waters, even mud puddles, basically, as the jurisdiction of EPA. Between all the new rules and regulations and the drought, just how bad can it get for Texas agriculture? The state's Natural Resources Committee got an earful. The drought it dealt a devastating blow to all of ag producers in this state. Witness after witness bore grim news. Irrigation costs doubled last year. Producers abandoned crops, depleted their reserves, and liquidated a million head of cattle. Many sold their livestock for half their worth. 10% of ranchers liquidated their entire herds, leaving Texas with its lowest cattle count since the 1950s. There wasn't any local hay. Uh, if, if a guy had a few bales, he was pretty much guarding them. As for the regulations, bureaucrats can be changed at the EPA. As for the drought, that may be up to God. David Scott, KXAN News.